Today, we are going to be looking at something that I think is quite important on PowerPool. It's a bunch of features that I think make it really helpful for conversion of crypto and payouts of crypto itself. So this is the homepage. As you can see, you need to navigate to your dashboard. Then you need to navigate to your revenue tab. Now, there are two subsections here, open conversion settings and open payout settings. Now, let me set the scene here quickly as a, a quick example of the simplest way for a single person on the website. But we need to understand how it works first. So miners produce shares on the pool. Those shares are credited to whatever is set in the conversion settings. So here's the conversion settings. So 100% of the shares that I have earned on PowerPool will go to Bitcoin. will go to this specific coin itself. 100% of the shares are going to Bitcoin. What happens then is then from the conversion page, it checks for those specific coins that are inside the payouts page to then send them once the threshold is met. So as you can see here, I have my Bitcoin set. I've got my threshold set, the interval set. I've added my address and 100% of those shares are 100% going to be paid out in Bitcoin. This makes it simple if you are literally just one person with a bunch of miners and you just want to be paid out in Bitcoin. That's the simplest way to work out on the website. But I've got a few examples. Let's say if you own a business and then you need to then pay out to an electricity company or a mining hosting company if your electricity costs too much where you are and you want to host a miner instead, we can then do that. So what happens is the payout page itself is basically its own wallet. Think of it as a wallet. And then the conversion and the conversion page itself controls how much of the revenue flows to that set wallet. So what happens is I've just told you about example one, about one solo person and you just pay the electricity out of your own pocket and pocket the rest of the Bitcoin itself. But what if you're a business and you have to pay the electricity out of the mining rewards? So what you can do is you can go to conversion settings. You've got Bitcoin here. And then let's say your electricity or hosting company you need to pay is in United States dollars. Um, it's USDC, which is basically the crypto version of it. So what we do is you go 50% here, as you can see and 50% here as well. So all the shares accredited will be split. So if you have 100 shares, then you've just split them between BTC and USDC. So that means 50 shares will go to one coin and 50 shares will go to another coin. So that basically controls the actual revenue flow of what it's going into what coin. But that means you then need to change the payout settings as well. So now you need two wallets. You need your Bitcoin wallet, which we do have, and then you need a USDC coin as well. Now the network used is Ethereum, as it says, and then you need to put your actual, it's not your address, but let's say your mining company hosting address um, there, if that's where you need to pay them, or let's say your actual electricity company, if they take crypto or into your other wallet, and then you can pay out to your electricity company. So it means that you've split it so that it's easier to keep an eye on what's business wise. So what's going where. Now, let's say as an example three, that was basically if you're a single person and you need to pay electricity fees. Now, what if you're a business and you have another person in your business that is your business partner. And then what happens is you need to pay them as well. So what happens here, we go to conversion settings again. We need to do Bitcoin and USDC. Let's say um, that is for the hosting company slash electricity company again. So we need to do 50% here and 50% here. So all shares accredited are 50-50. And then we need to go to the payout seconds. Now this is where it differs from the last one. You need to add a second Bitcoin address or second coin address of whatever you want to be paid out on. And then you need to select USDC again. This again will be the actual mining hosting company, electricity company's address. And that needs to be set to 100% because that is basically 
of the conversion of the shares and it's going to be then a hundred percent into it but here on bitcoin you want it split 50 50 if that is how you're going to split your revenue costs between you and your business partner split it right down the middle of 50 50 so we've got 50 percent here and 50 percent here that basically means let's say this is your address and this is your business partner's address and you've split basically the actual revenue in half so you get 50 percent they get 50 percent now obviously you can set it that you get higher so if you've put more into the business, you can set it to 60% and you need to lower this to 40%, which means you'll get 60% of the payout and they'll get 40%. You can obviously do 99 and 1%. It really needs to be worked out of between you and your partner. But that basically means that you, you, you yourself, your partner and the mining hosting company gets all their payout and it's all, it's all literally there on the website that you can simply do rather than sending to one address and then splitting it and you can literally do it all on the website itself you can also as you can see you can also select algorithms by itself rather than just all and that basically works out if you want it to be more of a traditional mining setup but that is pretty simple on how to set up on powerpool basically different conversions different wallet addresses to then split it between multiple people a hosting company or just you yourself as a single miner on the on the platform itself so hopefully i think you found this informative i'm going to leave my referral down below if this has helped you you do get a discount on fees on that so wonderful hope you have a good day happy mining